Hi, I'm Jamal Westman. I'm an actor. Um, most recent credits have been in uh, playing Alexander Hamilton in Hamilton the Musical. Um, I've been professionally acting for about four years, but most importantly, this is kind of a message for anyone in this industry, no matter what you're doing, I am most importantly a human being. So my experience uh, in youth theatre and like the, the influence that had on me in terms of uh, taking it seriously, taking myself seriously in the industry and saying, actually, this is something I want to pursue. Um, started off back in secondary school. Um, I had an incredible teacher who went out of his way, frankly, to put on um, plays. He was an English teacher. He was also um, the, the football coach, but he wanted to put on plays as well. And so I remember in year eight, um, being among a few other students, one of the younger students who was a part of uh, Stand By Me. That was the, the play we did. Um, uh, it was like a, uh, uh, an adaptation of the screenplay. Then we did Macbeth. We did, well, hey, let me go even further back. <laughs> let me go further back to, to primary school doing nativity play. Like those moments there were the moments where I really found myself and I felt um, alive. I felt alive. I felt like I could really express myself. I did WAC Arts, Weekend Arts College in Belsize Park. Um, I did that every Sunday um, with a few other guys and girls. Um, I also did uh, Lyric Hammersmith Youth Theatre. All of those places, man, it was just like I felt at home. I felt like I'm among my peers, but we're not being kind of drilled or like oppressed <laughs> with like, remember this or you know, being prescribed a certain way of learning. It was like we learn together and we discover and we um, are allowed to be vulnerable. We're allowed to not know. We're allowed to, you know, I don't recall being in class and feeling like it was okay to not be sure about something. You kind of had to know, or if the teacher asked you something, you meant to know the answer. Um, whereas in rehearsals, you may know, you may not know. Some of us might know and you can kind of all discover that together. So that was, yeah, I mean, there's a level of education you can get in the arts and the way of learning that is just, you don't really find so often. So I, I took huge pleasure in that. Um, South London Theatre, that was my first kind of amateur theatre, but that was with like guys way older than me, but then I was treated like an equal again. Um, and that's, I guess, what it's always about. It's always like being in safe spaces, feeling like you're safe. You're safe to get it wrong. Um, you're safe to not be sure. Um, and you're safe to just be you, be weird, be be wonderful as, as you are in whatever way that is. Be yourself, be a human being. Um, so that's how I felt. And that empowered me to hate. <laughs> I mean, with all those kind of uh, things that you, you one, what, what I found from it, there's no question that's what I want to do. So, hey, how are the youth there every single day of the week, of the month, of the year, um, particularly now? So tips on audition processes, on how to deal with the audition process. Um, having gone through a relatively long process, but it wasn't that long in terms of Hamilton the process I you know I auditioned five times and I guess I guess yeah if you haven't auditioned too many times you're like five times that's so much but some people auditioned way more than that and also maybe they didn't audition like numerically more but it took a long period of time between each audition um so there was a lot of waiting a lot of not knowing and um, being uncertain like just being like I don't know when I'm gonna you know, I don't know if I've got the job, the job that I really, 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 really want, um, that I just love. Um, and, you know, you pour your heart and soul into those meetings, into those auditions for the for the fact of you love this piece and you really want to be a part of it. And then you're left kind of in limbo. <laughs> limbo is a hard place. Um, but interestingly enough, well, you know, factually enough, we've all kind of been left in some kind of limbo at some iteration of our lives, but particularly during this period this pandemic has left so many people in a limbo and what really takes a hold or what really becomes the focus is mental health and well-being um and i know that yeah a lot of actors that you know you're going to get a lot of no's uh, we get a lot of no's i get more no's than i've had yeses in any kind of audition process or get trying to get a job um and there's a lot of waiting and a lot of uncertainty a lot of well i don't know when my next paycheck's gonna come i don't know when i'm gonna earn money and so that you know in so many different walks of life, that survival kind of um, um, experience um, can really take a toll. So things that I certainly do is stay active, um, whether that's physically active, going for runs, jogs, that generally uh, across the board they say is good for mental health, not that everyone wants to do that. 
takes a bit of a struggle to get me to just okay let's just do this let's go for a jog meditation um has been major i was introduced to that whilst at drama school um by a teacher um and that's been really helpful um reading I, it's kind of trying to develop a quiet mind um and also the idea of let it go let it go you know the frozen song let it go let it go sometimes with things we don't want to live in a place of tension we kind of just let things flow be like water um we go in for an audition we give our best and that's it we just let go of it it's there it's part of the acting process actually um in terms of even putting on a character you you learn you play the character and then when the show is done you release you let that go return to yourself return to your return to your neutral and whether that might be a place that we not we don't know yet we haven't figured out where our neutral is but that's really essential and i guess that's kind of a life lesson or a thing that's constantly being mind is being yourself and being okay with yourself and knowing that you are enough um it took me a while i'm still trying to get onto that train still like some days are great some days are not so great that's also okay i think that's more apparent in the theater industry because of the freelance nature of our work um it's up and down it's up and down and that's true to how we are as human beings as well like one day we're great for a whole week we could be great and then next week we're not feeling so great and being okay with that um but part of that is also you know one thing that was really difficult in the pandemic was isolation being alone uh, and we realized how important it is to have one another uh, and to be in connection with one another community is the best um remedy for um mental health or like the best you know when we're around people people that we trust people that um are there for us and we're there for them um nothing like it it takes a village to raise uh, a child a human being and it takes a village to kind of support them <laughs> for the rest of their lives you know no one can do it alone isolation is important as well like being okay with yourself with solitude but that's not you know it's not in a vacuum you shouldn't be by yourself forever so making sure you make those connections um youth theater is a part of that again you know any kind of youth program is a part of that connecting young people saying you're in it together we're in it together we can discover and learn together grow and heal together so the preparation for alexander hamilton and preparation for any character is obviously research i'm really good for that stuff i'm really good at doing the kind of world of things like understanding the world the social cultural historical aspects of a piece and fortunately with hamilton we had the book right that ron chernow had written but then there were so many other um articles and books that had been written around that period and around uh, the founding fathers um so that was really useful um for sure because that's what the uh show was kind of based off of or inspired by so that was really really useful um and beyond that i think it's also just really sitting with the text um by yourself in different scenarios um and it's kind of like how to describe um being in like a suit being in somebody's you know as we say as the atticus finch of um that says you know trying to walk around in someone else's shoes but you kind of want to know what that feels like so it's kind of pushing it in different directions whether it's emotionally you kind of say oh what if i kind of lent into this experience a little bit more also on top of that is um really connecting with it as yourself um trying to have that honest conversation certainly learning those lines as soon as possible is really helpful i definitely learned with hamilton i tried to learn them as, as like asap it was useful because it was um a lot of it was you know it's, it's wrapped um and, and so like it rhymes and so that that goes in a little bit easier than other texts um but doesn't negate the fact that you need to just get on those as, as soon as possible i would say because then you can walk around in it right it's like it's like tying your shoelaces you know when you walk around with your shoelaces aren't done you want to okay let me just tie the shoelaces i've got them on i don't really know how to walk in them yet but at least i've got them on and that's the lines i would say or at least you know the clothes the whole the whole get up advice for anyone doing youth theater or the nt connections um just well i guess this is advice for when you're just being young right when you're young um be yourself be yourself you know you you'll hear it over and over again from countless people i won't be the only one to say it but there is something truly amazing about being yourself because you are the only you that exists right in the world that you live the world that we live the world that we inhabit together there is only one you 
celebrate that. Um, we need you effectively. Um, we need you for who you are because that helps us discover who we are. Young people are constantly disempowered. Empower yourselves, uh, empower each other. Without putting pressure on you, you guys are and will set the pace for the future um, and know that we will listen.